We are dishing on movies. Yeah. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Dishing, dishing on, on Movies. So for this time, we're going to um, well, we don't base y'all. No. For the very first time, we're gonna actually be dishing on YouTube. That's right. That's right. We thought Cutie Pie and Cutie Pie are two of our favorites. Of course. And so we wanted to celebrate them hitting some pretty big milestones. Cutie's hitting 10 million subscribers. It's a lot to me. Cutie is hitting 1 million subscribers. So we thought we would make some recipes based on their favorite pies. Exactly. So we know that Cutie Pie likes a raspberry crusted pie. So we're making a raspberry pie for him. Mm. And for Cutie Pie, we're gonna be doing a strawberry pie with vanilla pastry cream. And the cute thing is that we're gonna be baking them in these. Yeah, I don't even understand that, so I wanna hear how that's gonna go down. All right, let's do it, let's get started. Do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Eight ounce jelly jar, unsalted butter, vanilla extract, cornstarch, strawberries, half and half, sugar, kosher salt, egg yolks, raspberry, lemon juice, and pie crust. I don't see Ain't nothing wrong. With a little beauty pie. With a little beauty pie. So the first thing we have to do is we have to get our crust into essentially our pie shell. But I want to make a quick disclaimer about the crust. So if you look, obviously this crust, we didn't make it and then roll it in plastic wrap. We're actually using a pre-made pie crust. Now if you look at our Twilight Tart or our uh, Wreck-It Ralph, we do make pie crust from scratch, right? But this week we're using an all-butter store-bought crust. <laughs> and we got it from Trader Joe. So not all store-bought crusts are made the same. This is like really important. The Trader Joe's pie crust is an all-butter crust and it's the closest you can get to a homemade taste store-bought. We're gonna roll this dough out. It's at room temperature. Very pliable. Okay. Just like that. All right, so let's open up our jars. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use this almost like a cookie cutter to make the top crust oh, that's smart. for our pies. Yeah. Yeah. Cutie Pie tried to make some, um, what was it, like a dirt? One of those dirt desserts. Yeah, crust. dirt cake. It looked pretty good, but. It did look good. But you know what, in the culinary world, we call that rustic. <laughs> so if you make something, and sorry, Cutie Pie, that's a little bootleg, or you know. The I mean, she called it a fail. So. She did, it wasn't a fail though, but we I call that so. rustic. Yeah. In the so it can be ugly or messed up. I would've ate it. Yeah, it just means it's homemade. Yeah. Normally when you make a pie, you have to like roll it out and perfect. Right, right. When you bake with a jar, it couldn't be easier. You can just take this scrap, and just start to press it in the jar. So go ahead and open yours and we'll just So you can actually press just it. throw this whole thing in the oven. Like we're yeah. gonna cook it in this and everything. Well here's the thing, these jars are jelly jars. We're using an okay. eight ounce squat jelly jar. Uh -huh. And these jelly jars are normally made to be boiled when you do canning your jellies. Uh -huh. So they're built to take high heat. So mm -hmm. don't use a jar if it's not specifically made for jellying or canning, okay? Got it. All right, so go ahead and just take some of this crust and press it in. Okay, Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> Express yourself. You got the man. Express yourself. You can add random pieces, but just make sure all the pieces are touching, right? So when you look at the side, it's like one cohesive piece of dough. Cohesive piece of dough. <laughs> Say that three times. <laughs> cohesive piece of dough. Cohesive piece of dough. Cohesive piece of dough. Cohesive piece of dough. Alright. All right, well. It almost sounds like cohesive pizza dough. <laughs> cohesive pizza dough. Pizza manja. <laughs> For the PewDiePie, we're gonna actually put fruit in here and bake it. So because of that, we put the crust all the way to the top, mm -hmm. okay? And then for the fresh pie, we're just gonna bake the crust, take it out, cool it, and then fill it with fresh, cold stuff. So for now, I'm done on my end. We're gonna have Dale do your part. So for these raspberry pies, these raspberry PewDiePies. I'm gonna poke some holes in these PewDiePies just to make it so that it bakes a little more evenly. And gives the steam can release. Steam releasage. Yeah. So I'm doing it on the inside and on the side. True. On the bottom, on the side, on the bottom, on the side. And you do this for all pies, whether it's in a pie pan, a pop tart, you always put steam holes. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> I've hit my pole, my whole poking limit on that one, so I'm gonna do this one. How now. many holes have you poked today? Now I'm gonna take these raspberries, throw them in this bowl, <laughs> and then I'm going to toss a little sugar, as we call it. Mm-hmm. 
And then I'm gonna add some of what this is, which is obviously <laughs> baking starch. powder, cornstarch. <laughs> this is a, it's a natural thickener. So here's the thing about a raspberry. If you look up close. What's the thing about a raspberry? Yeah. Well, first of all, it's something that you get if someone drives you on the carpet. <laughs> but no, also, no, no. Raspberries are these. <laughs> Next thing you want to do is add that lemon juice. We need all that thickening power. And then you can stir. So. All right. We want to make sure all the berries are coated because when it bakes in that shell, it's going to get all juicy. I got it, bro. If you guys haven't checked out PewDiePie's videos, you definitely should. He is crazy. Hilarious. Always having fun. Always playing some game and making it somehow more interesting to watch him play the game. Than probably yeah. playing the game. Yeah, half yeah. the time. Yeah. <laughs> it just he cracks me up. Now I'm gonna have you spoon evenly into those two jars. So now we have our filling in here and it's time to make a crust. So for yours, I'm gonna have you just put the crust on top and kind of tuck it in and seal it. You wanna make sure the bottom and top crust are sealed to be one. Easy enough. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get this in the freezer, let it just set up for a little bit. And then we're gonna make some pastry cream. This thing on. Test these, test these. <laughs> one, so two, three. All right, so here's the deal. Strawberry pie, most people don't bake strawberry pie. It's known as a flaky crust, delicious vanilla pudding or pastry cream, and then sliced fresh strawberries. Mm -hmm. So we got to make our vanilla pastry cream. So here's what you do. You're going to take a bowl and a whisk, and you're going to add four egg yolks. So they've been separated. The whites are not in here, okay? All right, so we why have you, Why are you segregating the whites, Krista? Because the whites aren't meant for this pudding, and you're not gonna drag me into that <laughs> joke. <laughs> now I'm gonna add some sugar. Okay. So go ahead and whisk that up. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go warm some half and half, okay? Meanwhile, in the microwave. And now we're gonna add our cornstarch slowly. You wanna make sure we use the whole measurement because that's gonna uh, help thicken the pudding. With the pudding, the lips. <laughs> so now we have our hot half and half. It's not boiling, but it's definitely steaming and hot to the touch. Now here's the thing. We're about to add hot cream to eggs. So if we do it too, too much of this hot cream in here, it's gonna cook the eggs. Ew. So we have to do it slowly. That's called tempering the eggs. Mm, it's like chocolate. It is, same difference. You wanna mess with the temperature. That's what tempering means. So go ahead and whisk. And I'm gonna pour a little bit at a time. Okay. Keep whisking though, the whole time. We're gonna whisk this. You wanna make sure to constantly whisk the bottom so there's always movement on the bottom so it's not gonna stick and cook the eggs. Okay, so now we have our pastry cream and we cooked this so it was about the consistency of lotion. I'm gonna do it this way so you can see it, okay. Now you wanna strain it because, you know, inevitably some of the cornstarch may get thick or you might have cooked some egg. Look, it happens to everybody. That's why you strain it. So I'm just taking the strawberries while she's doing all that and slicing them up. I love a good fresh strawberry. Man, these smell good. To finish the pastry cream, we're gonna take butter in small amounts. It's softened butter. We're gonna add some vanilla extract. Mm. And then salt. Remember we talked about this in other episodes, but salt makes sweet things taste sweeter. Isn't that weird? I'm gonna Otherwise. start putting salt on you. <laughs> you know this don't get no sweeter. Come on now. <laughs> Once the butter's all mixed in there, we have to refrigerate this. Again, this is gonna be a cold pudding fill filling into our pie, so it's gotta be cold. It's gotta be refrigerated. But you don't wanna just put this bowl in the fridge because all puddings like this, a custard, will get a skin on top. Ew. Some people like to eat the skin, Ugh. but I don't like it because we want it to be very creamy, so we're gonna go ahead and just take a piece of parchment and press it so it's literally touching the surface of that custard. If you look, we have our crust. It's totally baked through golden brown here. It's already cute. It is already cute. <laughs> so we're gonna take some of this pastry cream. We've got that filled with the cream. And now I'm just gonna take some of these strawberries and start to assemble them. In squish here. them on in there, huh? Just squish them on in there, yeah. We have them sliced so beautifully. I wonder who did that. <laughs> 
They're like little strawberry sharks. Strawberry shark. I'm gonna put a little bit of whipped cream on here, and because we love cutie pie, we thought we'd put a little crust heart on there. Uh, that's cute. Yeah. I didn't see you do that. Oh, I broke my heart. Look how cute these were. Oh, these came out great. Look at the little crisscross you had. And then it's like a smelly face. Oh, uh, he loves cutie. <laughs> I think it's, we should go for the PewDiePie. All right, sure, I'm, I'm gonna right. eat all of them. Yeah, we'll do Pewdie, PewDiePie first. Ooh, oh, that oh crust the good. crust. Mmm. Mm. It's hot. Mm. You could mm. let it cool off a little. Hot. Was it wow. hot? Mm. Oh my God, it's so tart. Mm. I love tart pie. So it's really tart. I love tart pie. And it's almost like a jam. It is delicious. That's so good. But the pastry cream brings that sweetness that I'm really digging. They're both great. Just depends on uh, what type of pie you like. Oh, I think that makes you team cutie. Am I team cutie pie? It seems like it. See, and I'm leaning a little, I'm leaning a little raspberry, a little, little cutie pie. Well, there it is. We're divided. <laughs> Alright, well, let us know which team you are in the comments below. And if you try it out, let us know how it goes. Congratulations! Tribute pie. Yeah.